Bonjour mes amis, hi guys, today we finally take a look at the exquisite JAPEC Antarctic passage de Drake. This one in the uh, splendid ice white dial version. Now JAPEC is a Polish man, uh, one of the greatest watchmakers of the 19th century. He was purveyor to the imperial court and uh, even, the, even to Napoleon. The brand was re-established in uh, 2012 by uh, three passionate entrepreneurs and it was relaunched in uh, 2015 through a crowdfunding campaign. Already won winning the GPHG uh, in 2016 with the uh, Quai de Berg and then went on to uh, build very complicated watches, uh, the Tourbillon Suspendu Place Vendôme or the Chronograph uh, Faubourg de Cracovie. Now, of course, here what we have is, uh, is a more mainstream type of uh, watch. And uh, it's interesting because JAPEC is a brand for, for the connoisseurs, for the enthusiasts. And uh, yet I've heard so much about this watch that to me it has almost already entered the, the mainstream. But there you go. Uh, when you do a mainstream type of design, that's, uh, that is what happens. And the result here is probably one of the finest of uh, this genre. So the whole idea here was to provide rare and fine finishing, select, selected materials, intricate case surfaces, and a great attention to detail. So the case is 40.5 millimeter in stainless steel uh, with an original double trompe l'oeil curve. So it's quite, uh, quite unique, very, um, very re refined, uh, I find compared to the other watches in the, in the segment. Uh, so this watch, yeah, you can say it's, uh, it's very sports uh, chic. The dial has a trapezoid uh, motif with a three-dimensional stamp surfaces, uh, creating a play of shadows as you move the watch. And it's, uh, it's quite striking. It is called the Stairway to Eternity. As you can see here, the, all the links are held by uh, screws, which is the, the nice way to, to do it. You have the double deploy and clasp. And a little surprise uh, is that you have on each side two, the, two small pushers. And when you push on them, you release a small uh, macro adjustment device, about two millimeters, which is just perfect. So you get a total of about four millimeters. Uh, it, it is really um, quite unique, actually, in the segment. Most uh, of those integrated bracelets uh, have no adjustment at all. So it's another really nice refinement on this bracelet, which is otherwise uh, absolutely beautiful. I think the, the links, uh, the polished sections all over the, the brush sections are really uh, a standout on this watch. Of course, the watch has 120 meters of water resistance, only 10.6 millimeter of height. Sapphire crystal uh, top and bottom with AR uh, treatment on the both sides and uh, it also comes with a rubber strap uh, or a calf leather. But the highlight is really I think the, the movement here, the SX H5.01 uh, which was for the first time entirely conceived in-house by JAPEC but all the parts come from the very very best Swiss manufacturers We have a off-centered macro rotor, so leaving a lot of space to discover the rest of the movement. Free sprung balance wheel with variable inertia. Four gold adjustable weights to enable the highest level of precision. Tuning the gear train is gorgeous. It's held in place by a series of seven handsome skeletonized bridges. The original uh, shape of those is reminiscent of lace. Uh, superlative finishing on the bridges that merges autorologerie uh, angling techniques with, with state-of-the-art laser engraving. Uh, since the unveiling, there's been some improvement. Previously, the winding mass was a recycled 18 karat gold. It has become a, a larger, slightly larger rotor in platinum for better efficiency and the uh, ball bearings have been changed as well. So now you can expect 60 hours of power reserve and uh, the movement runs at uh, 4 hertz. In terms of finishing, we have uh, open ratchets, uh, sandblasted 
black bridges, beveling, straight grained sides, six hand chamfered inward angles. Now back on the dial side, we have a steel sword hands with a luminescence uh, on them. So the watch looks great at night as well. The hour markers are rhodium plated steel and you can get the dial in uh, ice white as you see here. The blue, black ink and glacier blue availability. Uh, you'll have to be a uh, patient, order and put your deposit on the website, but you can cut the line thanks to a backwatch department. If you're in Hong Kong or around, maybe in China, you can get this very watch that you see here on my wrist details in the description. Uh, let me know what you think about this watch that wears perfectly on my wrist. It is like a, like a dream. It is so light, so beautiful. Uh, just the, the perfect size, uh, one of the, yeah, the most refined in this segment. I'm looking forward to reading your comments, which I'm sure will mention the latest release from Christopher Ward, the 12, which uh, bears quite a bit of resemblance with this watch. I think they shared uh, maybe the, the same designer at some point. And uh, I'd love to review the Christopher Ward, have it in my hands, uh, take a look at it. Of course, inside you have just a generic movement, uh, maybe a high grade of the, the Celita. And uh, nothing wrong with that, but just have to understand that uh, you can make for a few hundred dollars a copy of anything. That doesn't mean that uh, you're getting the same pleasure. And uh, it's up to you to decide whether when you covet something, you want to go for the most uh, affordable or you want to go for the most refined, uh, the very best. Nothing wrong with either. And uh, I think if you just have uh, $1,200 to, to spend on the watch, it's wonderful to have an option. And if you have $22,000, it's wonderful to have this option with the amazing movement and incredible finish and all the other refinements that uh, we have reviewed today. Thank you for watching, guys. Bye bye.